Yo guys, what's going on? Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are talking about day number one of pre-wipe here in Escape from Tarkov. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more Escape from Tarkov content. So we have day number one of pre-wipe starting today. Let's go ahead and throw the very first tweet up on screen for you guys. This was from, you know, the Battlestay and Tarkov Twitter account. So it's just an image. You can see a dude carrying some concrete. We got a bunch of filters all over the ground. But the most important thing are actually the two books. You have a blue book and a red book. PMC holding the red book, the blue book on one of the air filters. This is basically signifying that there is increased skill gain across the board when it comes to leveling up skills and then there is one other thing going on with the event right now so this is not for pve let's just get that out of the way unfortunately guys this is not for pve this is only for pvp players and we'll talk about that a little towards the end of the video on why i think they should have did something for pve and not necessarily the same exact events and the same exact things because obviously you do not want to increase skill gain for pve for no reason if that makes sense so Hopping into the hideout here, I am on the PvP account. If you're new around here, your boy does not play PvP. I think I played for like five days at the beginning of the wipe, and that was about it. So, when we look at the upgrades, you can see everything is costing Pevco beer. So, uh, if we look at the price of Pevco beer on the PvP flea market, go for a, a light 3 million rubles. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad, man. I would assume... Uh, I don't know if I can actually look at the crafts here in nutrition or not, but yeah, I don't think I have it. I think that's a level 3 craft. Uh, but I'm assuming that all of the items required to craft Pevco are also absolutely insanely priced. Now, when it comes to the skill gain, I do want to show you how much skill gain you are getting when it comes to escape from Tarkov PvP and what we're missing out on for PvE. So the way I'm going to do this is I am going to go in with a completely stripped down character, uh, no AI or anything like that. We're going to go into factory and we're just going to run straight across the factory uh, from one specific point. And I'll make sure I show my skills before, just in case I had to run to that point if I spawn somewhere different. And uh, we will see the exact breakdown of, you know, what the exact amount of skill gain is that is increased over the norm. So we have a completely zeroed out, no nothing on our character, absolutely nothing. Even took the pouch off because it does actually have a weight. So let's hop into an offline raid here on Factory and make sure those AI are off. And we're going to head in here. So like I said, we're going to go just from one point to another point. And we're going to see what the skill gain is like right now on PvP. Then we're going to hop over to PvE, which I will be able to show you a screenshot of the hideout as well. Uh, it is not Pevco beer. Pevco is still extremely cheap. There was a slight pump, and uh, some people got scammed. It's as simple as that. So let's hop in here, and we'll try and find a, uh, a location here that we can, we can run to. So let's go ahead. All right, that's, that's leveling up quite quick. Wow. Wow. Okay, we took we took one step and we're already four skill points. Okay, so it's like super skills. Oh, we don't even have to test it. We, we don't even have to test it. I ran for one second and the skill gain was up to four. Yeah, and it's already going to be extremely decreased. I mean, <laughs> that's insane. Run around a little bit more. Like I said, we don't even have to do a direct comparison for like a location or anything i didn't know it was gonna be that crazy yeah so i mean we, we literally don't have to do anything like we don't even have to run anymore so let's hop over to pve i'll just show you the uh you know that everything's not working over there i don't want to just tell you it's not working and then you uh you know go on and try it like you might not believe me or some weird shit but you know it's how it is sometimes all right so before we hop into a raid just to show you the skill gain is not working on the pve side of the game either um i do actually have my hideout completely maxed out but i am going to swipe an image from our discord make sure you join it if you're interested in playing with some other pve folks this one's from hannah banana so i think hannah's going to be extremely excited to get a surprise shout out on this one uh but you can see the hideout is not upgradable through pevco so yeah unfortunately we kind of get nothing so as you can see once again character is completely zeroed out over on the pve side of the game so let's hop right back into the factory here once again offline mode 
boom, boom, and boom. Let's go ahead and load it up. And uh, I'll show you that we are just not going to get anything close to four skill points in about one second of running, which is crazy. I mean, you know, I, I love that for the PvP crowd, but the fact that PvE got absolutely nothing is definitely something uh, a little more video-worthy in its own sense rather than just uh, telling you that pre-wipe is starting today. So maybe we cover it. So uh, just doing a little run here. Now, where we're standing, we should have four skill points. And we have 0 0.34. So it's looking like it's a 10x increase for that initial, uh, you know, starting skill gain. You know, when your leveling speed is increased by 129%. Seems like that is 10x over on PvP. But uh, unfortunately, PvE crowd left with nothing. And it's you're either going to play PvP for a little bit of pre-wipe fun here in the next few days. Right now, I would not consider... Uh, the event something worth leaving PvE for. But if they do anything super cool, uh, even with the one Ruble Trader event, like if you wanted to hop in and, uh, you know, go use an MSGL on Factory or something, you know, all the gear is going to be one Ruble. So, you know, get yourself a few Rubles here. And on the final day of pre-wipe, you know, if you want to hop over to PvP and just start grenade launching kids, like whatever you want to do, I think that'd be fun for you. But right now, absolutely zero incentive for you to hop on over to PvP uh, because unfortunately for the PvE players, you know, it's just there's nothing there's nothing really incentivizing you for the pre-wipe event. And we obviously have nothing uh, event-wise for our side of the game. So like I said, I think I am going to make a video about it because I, I've tried to, you know, put in videos a, a bit that I don't think we should be separating the player base entirely. You know, if we're going to do something fun for PvP, we got to do something fun for PvE, even if it's not the exact same thing. I think separating the player base is still not the correct move because I do believe PvE is the future of the game. But like I said, we'll save all that talk for another video probably later today. For now, that's what we got going on. Pre-wipe has started. Patch coming soon. ABI, watch out. Do me a favor. Make sure you're dropping a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sponsored equipment description below. That's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.